Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Hi, guys. Poppin'. Good morning. Wet morning. Mm. That's what's popping. Yeah, very wet. Really morning. wet. Mm -hmm. Really wet. What? I didn't come around. Wendy Williams on <laughs> the star on Hollywood Walk of Fame following a tough year. So I read her speech, mm. and it was. At least she admitted to having a tough year. Mm -hmm. And I like how she said her son is the one motivating her and encouraging mm -hmm. her. Like, there is nothing she does that he's against. He's, he, whatever she wears, whatever she wants to do, he's there to support her. Um, what else did she talk about? She said so many things that came about from the About the fact place. that um, when she's in a room full of a thousand people, she feels like she doesn't belong mm -hmm. and all of that. So, yeah. And how when she started, um, she was so everybody scared. was expecting the next opera and she mm -hmm. just wanted to be herself. Mm -hmm. She can't imagine herself um, having a conversation. I think it's ASPCA, something mm -hmm. about the society and animal cruelty. Like, basically, she wasn't interested in the so serious conversation. Mm. like Oprah was doing and she had to work hard to find a niche for herself or to at least stay in the lane that she wanted to stay and in. And everybody um, that yeah. spoke about uh, Walk of Fame star was saying that, oh, um, one thing that has always worked for her is that she did things her own way. Mm. But she said, no, I only listen to advice. Is when your advice is rubbish, that's when I do things my own way. But mm. you can tell that she's the kind of person that... Um, listens to people mm. when they tell her okay do it like this do it like that she mm. tries it out and see if it works but if it doesn't work she'll do it her own way so i respect that i like people that listen so no. I mean, people can say whatever they want about Wendy, but they can't say this is well deserved. Mm. This is well deserved. She has been in the business for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. She has been on TV for like 11 years. I mean, she's a long been, time on radio as well. Yeah, a long time. That's why I said 30 years, but TV 11 mm. years. She has really done well for herself. She's very hardworking and she has been able to build for herself an empire. I think this is well deserved. Congratulations to her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on to the next story. Actress Adunia de celebrates um, her sixth mom, calling her a fighter. She shared a photo of... Um, the mom is so beautiful, though. Mm. Let's just start from there. She shared a photo of um, them both in the hospital, and clearly with all the home machines on her and all that. But she, she said something really cool. She said she needs to celebrate her now. Because it's not a alive. case of when anything... Mm. We're not hoping for anything bad, but if anything happens, that's when we'll now say, oh, so you had a mother that was you sick. Know. You know, so I like that she's doing this now, and I hope hope that um, the fight is successful because mm. I'm sure she still needs her mom so yeah yeah, I like that she, like, you, like you said I like that she's doing this celebrating her mom while she's alive mm. not when she's dead yeah. we don't pray that she's, she dies soon but and I pray God help them fight through this and that's all mm. so um, I like this too and I like the fact that because um they say your parents are like your semi-god here on earth. So you see a lot of people that were not there for their parents, but the moment they go, that's when they will buy 10 cows, they will kill, they will buy the most expensive coffin. And you realize that this parent or this um, dad or mom that you're doing this special thing for, while they were alive, they were probably staying in a face me, I face you. You never took care of them. But their burial, you want to throw a grand party mm -hmm. and make it look like, oh, no. I think everybody out there should take time out. I had a therapeutic session, um, I think, two weekends ago. Yeah, when I went to see my parents. And it was, well, I call it a therapeutic session because I didn't have to go to any psychiatrist or any... Um, doctor to tell me how I'm feeling. I was feeling down, I was feeling depressed, and I went home to see my parents, and I was uplifted. My spirit was lifted all over again. So I think every child out there should look after the, their parents while they're still alive, while they're still here with us. Look out for them, be there for them, see them from time to time, and it's not just for them, it's also for you, because there's a blessing that comes with that. So she sharing this right now is going to be an additional blessing to her in one way or another, in, or another. No one knows how it would come, but trust me, this right now, she's going to be blessed. And I pray for good health for her mother as well. Okay, it's time for a quick break. We won't return into the drama, drama, drama. We'll be right back. <music>
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. Um, you are senseless. This is coming from rapper um, to Sam Clef. So this is what happened. Sam Clef wrote um, on Twitter, he said, lyrics know they sell for Niger. We just want to party and they all right. Simple hook, repeat them twice. Everybody sing along, end of quote. Then Vector commented saying, Sam, you know, get sense. With this talk where you talk, know they mislead people with funny talk. You know, say Niger problem, no be lyrics. Now, thief sense of greed. No vex if you vex, LOL. So I heard they've settled this thing out with Dasha, but um, it came to Instagram and it became a big deal. Uh, I feel like they are saying two different things. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I, to me, oh, I feel like Vector was not even addressing what he was talking about. So I'm, I'm confused. Maybe if I understand their yeah. language okay. better. I think you want to go for it. Yeah, I just, <clears throat> Vector's reply just, you know, says a lot about understanding, um, perspective, mm. emotional intelligence, mm. and our choice, of <laughs> mm. our choice of putting out our opinions in the mm. right way. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, people see things differently. Mm. If Even if you want to hear your own opinion and you want him to know that you don't think, sorry, you don't think that's the problem, you don't have to call him um, a fool. You don't. You don't no, have to tell him he's sen. Um, you don't have to tell him he's senseless mm. before you put out your own opinion. Do you get? It's just a conversation. Okay, what's the difference between senseless and being a fool? <laughs> you know. Well, I think um, when you are senseless and when you are a fool, is a um, fool of forty is a fool forever. But a senseless person at forty can still have sense. <laughs> okay. I'll just swallow <laughs> what I want to let's, say. Let's let that go. Let's let that go. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. So. So are you trying to be foolish or first senseless of all, now? Which <laughs> <laughs> one? Eh, first of all, I'll say some clap. Being mm. a music producer, you know, try for that thing. Now, I'm saying this because I'm also in the music business or in the music line. Oh, or daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So um, that's why I'm going to be saying this, because if you're saying lyrics do not sell in Nigeria, then you're telling all the upcoming artists that have good content, that have songs that would change the narrative of the music industry in Nigeria, to go and abandon it because it's coming from it's Sam Clef, and it's Sam Clef is telling you repeat hook. Do you know how many times Juru was said in Juru? Mm -hmm. That's repeat hook. Do you, do you know how many times it was said? I don't know. 32 times. You went to count it. Mm. Okay. Wow. He's your guy. No, I like where he's going to continue. 32 wow. times. Mm. Now, that's like, if I have to say, jo, 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 no, and I say for, 30, for 32 times, mm. I can bet that it's going to be a minute. So a minute of my song is me saying just Joe. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I love whiskey. But it's a jam. Yeah, it's, it's a jam. <laughs> I love whiskey. I love whiskey. I love whiskey. Mm -hmm. But when I realized that he said that over te over thirty times, you I lost was like, vibe. "No, I didn't lose the vibe. I was just like, wow. So I've just been listening to Joe. <laughs> That's all I've been listening to, Joe. Okay, so now you senseless. How <laughs> foolish? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> It is the artist you should be addressing. I'm not oh, saying. wow. <laughs> okay. No, me, or me. I'm not... get to your point because you still say you've not gotten to your yeah, point. Yeah, I'm just yeah. a listener. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, for a Sam Clef, especially someone who is a veteran um, producer in Nigeria, you shouldn't say that because now you're misleading the younger generation, people that actually have real content in their music to put out there for people. And you're telling them, oh, no. So are you telling me when I'm coming to your studio, all I have to is come and say, Elsie, 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 no, no, I think, I think, I think you're getting him wrong. Yeah. I think you're getting him No, 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 no. I'm not I'm, I'm yeah, getting there. He has not gotten there. I have not gotten there. I have not gotten there. 
Okay. So, for Vector to say this, now Vector is someone that, especially artists that put a lot of time into their creative process, that actually take time out to write their proper lyrics and make sure they're passing across a message. Sometimes they have to rewrite like five, six, ten times before they get the standard of what they want. Now, it's like saying that American music, why doesn't, um, why don't they repeat just one chorus all the time? They have content, but we still buy it. So do not let us mislead Nigerians that we do not like. Yes, we like to party. Yes, we like the vibe. Yes, we like all of that. But at the same time, there's some of us that like good music and then we like lyrics. Okay. So if a producer is coming out to tell people that uh, lyrics know they sell, then it's a very senseless talk. Mm. Okay, for me, I don't think he's saying it that music um, lyrics don't sell in Nigeria because he wants people to start produ producing songs that don't have content. Mm. I think he's just saying it's just like stating the obvious already. People, I feel he's, he said it from the aspect of people should do better in, on their music, not that people should come out and still continue what he's saying. No, that's why I think, I think you're getting it all wrong. Yes, that's why um, it's all opinion. Mm. That's your opinion, and I respect that. And this is my opinion that you shouldn't have said that because <laughs> a lot of people will okay. believe in so, this producer. I don't know, but I feel like so many Nigerians are just hypocrites. We we, are, we probably know we are doing something wrong, mm. and we know that we are carrying a white cup instead of a black cup. Mm. But we just all want to keep carrying the white cup without anybody addressing it. Like when anybody comes out I to mean. talk about it, why will you be carrying white cup? But they are all holding white cup. Oh. I mean, and they try to defend what that Sam white Clef cup. said. Is it not what is happening? Please name the big song now that everybody's jamming to. That aside, Joe, let's leave whiskey out of this, so that we will not you get just to the my Blow my mind. You have to bring David right? Lyrics. So I'm glad that you are bringing David because yeah. on this table, I have said it over and over again, regardless of whether he's writing the lyrics himself or not, mm -hmm. that if you look at the way the music is going now, because usually people like comparing David and Whiskey, mm -hmm. if you look at the content that is coming out from these two artists, this is not from a hate side or anything. Mm -hmm. I love both of them so much. But so far, for the past two years, Davido has been consistently giving you jam that you can listen to and still understand content. that. It mm -hmm. has content. So each time I talk about Even this thing, boy. you know, you I mean, know. there are so many of them, but I just wanted to stay mm -hmm. on those two. And Sam Clef coming out to say this, this is not a lie. When you talk about people that are giving you good content, how many people pay attention to their music? Mm. I agree that there is a market for Bonner them. Boy. They are still making their money, mm. right? If, let's leave Bonaboy. He has blown over blown, mm -hmm. right? You have let's people, talk about Adekunle Go, you know, Johnny Dream and all that. But the truth mm. is they are making selling. money. They have their market. Well, but the attention, well, not, yeah. I mean, look at Nara Mali right now. He's like Baby the girl, big you deal. Are. You know. I mean, what is the content? But... He's getting the attention. He's, mm. If his song comes up anywhere now in a club, in a party, even right here, it's possible that a cameraman would jump into the <laughs> set. I mean, that is how it is. So mm -hmm. Sam Clem is saying what is going on. And at mm -hmm. the beginning, I said, I don't understand where Vector is coming from. Because if he even wanted to address it, he was saying the problem is too Yeah, I think, I, I, I'm like, what are you saying? What is he saying? Yeah, okay. I have a I serious think, problem um, with Vector's response. I think Vector's what he response said response about Nativ's sense, sense of greed. Now, it's referring to... Nativ Sam, sense of greed. No vex if you vex. What yeah, is he saying? What is he saying? referring to Sam Clef. Now, that's my own... Under, this is my own understanding. <laughs> See, okay. Nativ <laughs> sense of greed. How? Okay. Now, because you're a music producer, mm -hmm. and then you have a good artist that's coming to your studio that has lyrics, you probably wouldn't record that guy, but you record the guy that is coming to sing it My dear Sam Clef is a producer. I mean, that's you business. Have to I was, no, 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 that's not saying that's business. Not that's not... not sense of no, 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 that's business. I mean, I don't to know be honest. Vector was coming making from. a lot of sense. Vector was, was making no sense. To every music head, no Vector was making so much sense. I can tell you that for a fact, because that's everybody that... That's not greed. I think the only person making sense here is Sam Clef, because he stated just what is happening Maybe he didn't go further with the tweet to tell you, Okay, let's embrace more good lyrics and all. But what but he I said mean, if you is what that, he said, because I'm that is what you. is going on. Mm. Okay. All right, I really said it was going to be drama. So <laughs> moving on to the next drama, I will come for you. This is coming from Dabota Lawson to Linda KJ. So according to the long mm. episode she wrote, she's saying that um, Linda KJ's platform mm. never carries anything good about her. So if she wears 
I mean, we all know Dabota has like an awesome fashion sense, right? And she has the body. So if she's wearing all that, it's, it never gets to that particular blog. But when she's on bikini or something that will create some kind of negative comment, mm. it, is, uh, it gets to um, the blog very quickly. Also, she was talking, I think her main problem was when, I don't know how that post went, but it's a case of people insinuating that she bleached the skin of her Daughter, it does not look like the father. <laughs> it's just funny. It look like the father. Yeah, because... The father is dark now. I don't know. I think he's not the father. No, nah, the thing is, nobody knows the father. People are just pe speculating. Spe speculating um, who is the father, who is the father. Okay, so Linda put up a post mm. and said, um, who is the real father of the child? Something like what that. What is her business? You know, I, that's, that's what our problem is. Like, why would you even put up a post like that? So people will now come and drag me in your comments. And she's also and saying to... that the comments that they approve, I don't know mm. how, how she sure of this, but I mean, like, KG deliberately um, approves comments that are negative and doesn't approve the ones that are good. I don't know how she confirms that, mm. but that's weird. Well, I think, um, I like what Dabota lost in the with, um, Linda IKG because Linda IKG has faced her own fair share of social media dragon. Mm -hmm. You understand? Especially when she preached on celibacy and then she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Especially She's when um, <laughs> Kemi Olu lawyer said she was wearing baby bomb mm -hmm. and then she delivered. Especially when they said. Um, when she was driving from Ikoyi to Acha. Inside traffic. Inside traffic. Do you understand? <laughs> Especially when they said. Um, she wasn't the one that bought the Rolls Royce for a child, or was it? Was it was it Bentley? Bentley. Yeah, a Bentley. That she wasn't the one that it was the baby daddy, but she came out with receipt saying that oh, I got the scar for Jay. What's his name? Jay. 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 Right. Jay. Jay. I think it's Jay. C. No, uh, J A Y C. Mm, I think so it's pronounced Jay. Jay. I think it's pronounced. No, I think it's pronounced Jay. C. Not Jay. Mm. So. Um, I'm not sure. I think. Yeah, I think that's how pronounce Jace. Oh, you better. Jace, okay, yes. so okay. Okay, then it's Jace. So and all of that you get. So if you are a single mother and you face such things, it's only right for you to respect other single moms that because up to date we do not even know. It's still speculation that so so person is the father of Linda IKG. No, no, she's no, no, actually no, confirmed. confirmed the guy because she, mm. she, I think she gave the she guy wrote, the surname or something, or she wrote something. Yes, yeah, in her story, explaining herself. The guy herself. said anything. The guy doesn't need to the say guy, anything. Exactly. Exactly. So until they say something, me, I'll call it speculation. No, she, no, no, no. She, she is saying that this is I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> If you claim anybody now, anybody can claim anybody. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so. That's another level. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, well, do you want to ask something if I say what I want to say? No, I mean, what Linda is doing is wrong. If this accusation is true, you know, we don't know how true it is. Mm -hmm. It might not be Linda that is putting all these things out. It might be people working on that. We don't know how true all this is. But mm -hmm. if it's true, I think Linda should do better. Better. Well, right now, we're advocating for women, supporting women, not tearing um, each other down. Mm -hmm. So she should really do better. If she's approving negative comments, she needs to stop it. However, I feel like the problem Linda KG is facing is because her blog is after her name. So mm. whatever she posts is like, it's Linda KG, it's Linda KG. I mean, a TMZ does worse. Nobody's dragging any particular person. It's the platform they are doing. And she can look at it and say, I mean, it's my job. I'm doing my business. What I'm supposed to do is to create conversations mm. from the lives of celebrities, influencers, everybody. If I feel like this is going to create conversation, it is gossip blogging. It is not, if you need proper news, maybe you should go to Plus TV Africa's website or you go to Premium Times and all that. But if you need gossip and gist and all that, that is what Lina Cage's platform is really all about, right? So mm. I think the problem is because her name is directly attached to this thing, even now that she has grown to having a an office and a big um, company now, Linda K D T V and all mm. that, people still have the mindset that she's the one sitting down yeah, and uploading. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, I think that's where the problem is. I don't is. think she's the one putting all these things out there. Yeah. She has a lot of people working for yeah, her. She but, can't pick um, on you in particular. I don't think you're you going know. to see any rubbish on Plus TV Africa. If I write for rubbish on Plus TV Africa, there's somebody that would still see that. Which is why because I'm saying, that's why I mentioned TV if you want a proper news proper platform, news. You yes, go to so those websites I mentioned. If you um you see a story about a double to lossing, for instance, mm. and it is written like it is an unconfirmed gist, mm -hmm. as the CEO, as the chief um editor, mm -hmm. you should go to those things and be like, did you confirm it? Well, you but do you know that Linda Kedge's blog is like an Olofofo blog? 
what, that's what I'm saying. It is just they are doing what they want to do or what they are really supposed to do. So I don't even expect that Nida Kedja at this stage with everything she does actually mm -hmm. has time mm -hmm. to go through all the posts mm -hmm. that goes on the website right now. I, I, someone I can mean, she has bigger correct things me, she's but I don't right think so. Now, you know. Maybe about um, smaller people, but not someone like that, but a law saying she should be interested because oh. they're Why? in the circle. Because they're in the same circle. The, they're they're in the same matter. circle. She won't bring this. This is not how she yeah, writes. It doesn't story. even they matter. They would have had phone calls and conversations and say, babe, bring this thing. I know people that are in the same circle with Linda Ikeji, and I know, in fact, they might not even reach the platform before a conversation will get. So I don't think they're in the same circle. They're just baby mamas, not in the same <laughs> circle. Baby mamas, wow. Is yeah. that what she called herself? But she got engaged now. Didn't Who's Linda that? get engaged? Who? Is she still Lord of the Rings? Who? Linda Gage. Did she, she get engaged? Yeah, she did get engaged. She told no, you. No, I remember Kemi came out to say that engagement was... Yeah, um, but yeah. she well, never she called she her. And then she, she purposely didn't talk about that yeah. part anymore, so I don't mm. think it was real. Okay. And she never, she in her story, she, she never said anything like getting engaged with No, she man. did, actually. There was a time Linda claimed to be engaged. And no, not showed. in the story. Not it was the after story. that that she came out to write her long mm. episode and all that. Mm. But I feel like people should just understand that that's Linda Cage's platform now. is is just a platform. It's no longer personal mm. to her. So, anyways, I think if you don't have anything else to add, that's how we wrap up this episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching and remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to Michael Ankos, Ewa Oritu and Ifeolu Washington and of Bye. course the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and have yourselves a good day.